Hey everyone, this is Planet Mitch, and this is something completely different. This is episode number 17 of the Daily Planet 5D, and we're going to try something new today. And I'm, instead of using the original setup, um, I'm using ScreenFlow today, and I'm going to record directly from my iMac. What I wanted to show you was a bit of a program called Pluralize, and I have the va bleh, that's easy for me to say. I have version 3 beta loaded on this machine, and we're going to walk through how to take audio files. And I recorded something yesterday with my daughter, and the audio we recorded with the Zoom H1. And this is a $99 little recorder, and it uses micro SD cards, which someday I'll show you. And on camera, she had one of our Rode microphones. This happens to be the stereo mic for reference audio. So the main audio we're going to try to get off of the Zoom H1, but we also use the Rode mic for the audio on the camera. And what Pluralize is going to do is it's going to sync the two together. And so we end up with a good audio, hopefully from the H1, instead of the good audio from the Rode. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Rode mics, but I wanted to test Pluralize and the H1 and see what we get. So there's there's nothing wrong with Rode mics, okay? Let's get that straight right off the bat, because many people use these and the boom mics. And by the way, I've been meaning to tell you about this. This is an old Rode mic that I've had for a while. Um, it's the Rode VideoMic Pro, and I learned a very valuable lesson because this is the plug that goes with this. And I found out that cats love to chew on things like cords. And you better get your microphones out of the way. And they've even chewed on this one. Um, I managed to leave this one out, and I've learned the lesson because there are bite marks down here on the plug. So don't leave your microphones hanging around because the cats will do it. All right. So here is Pluralize 3, and it has a pretty simple window, but it's going to synchronize. It's And it's, and it's external to Final Cut Pro. The old plug-in version 2 was actually inside Final Cut Pro, or... Adobe Premiere, whichever one you're using. Um, now it has this really cool external thing. And to make it simple, there's a camera, um, a place to put the movies from your camera, and a place to put the audio files. So this is the Pluralize 3 beta window. There are two, there's a place for tabs along the top where you're making audio projects. There's the camera files, which we would drag and drop here, and then there's the audio files. So I'm, I've got a window open over here with my movies from the session we were doing yesterday. I drag those and drop them there. Then I click on the audio recorder tab, and I'm going to grab the two MP3 files from the H1 into this location, and you see that they're listed showing down here in the timeline but they're not mi max mi mi but they're not <laughs> together they're not separated they're not uh, <laughs> they're not synchronized yet gosh come on Mitch words don't work for me sometimes the magic button right up here is synchronized and it's going to take these video files and it's going to match them to the audio in this situation you see that the audio files are longer than the video file. So what we did was we had the H1 just sitting there recording while we were doing the video. So we started and stopped the video several times and that's what gave us the long audio files and the short video files. So when I press this synchronize button the magic's gonna happen down here and you're gonna watch all of these video clips sync up and turn green if they sync or red if they don't sync. So I'm going to click synchronize and let it go. Bing! It's done. Now I did not stop the recording. That's how fast it is. So if I move the timeline over to here 
and switch up here to camera, you will see that there's the camera file. And I'm also going to press the play button. Stuff has been touched before. And you'll hear it's an echo usual, kind of because kind of both it. audio files are playing. I'm going to click here packaged. to turn Just off the camera knew. audio. And now we're listening opening it. purely to the H1 audio. Uh oh, somebody left the strap attached. Uh oh. That'll have to go. Now that you've got your audio and your video synced, you're still in Pluralize, so what do you do? The simple solution is to click on the export timeline. Bring this up here so you can see it. I want to send it over to Final Cut Pro 10, because that's what I'm using. And I can either select or unselect these options for multicam. I was only using one camera, so I'm not going to do that. Create project with audio content replaced in video clips or open event project automatically in Final Cut Pro. I can do any or all of those. I'm going to click export. After a little bit of processing by Final Cut Pro 10, you can see over here we've got a new event called Untitled for Synced. And you see the movie files up here. And then down below you see a project called Untitled for Synced. And all of the assets are put in here with some spacers. And you can now go in and start processing right after you've synced everything with Pluralize. Bingo bango, as you expect, the battery died on the 5D Mark II just as I was about to wrap this all up. So I've switched over to the old Logitech webcam, which is why you see a bigger view. Anyway... Thanks for watching the Daily Planet 5D. Keep an eye on us next week with some more exciting episodes.